You won't believe how cool looking this printer is. Cool Siga Finder 1 136. The build size is 298mm x 165mm x 300mm. It has 7K screen, so the resolution is about 46 micron XY. Thank you for my local delivery guy. They are kind enough to help me lift it to my workshop in second floor. And thank you Cool Siga for sending this printer for me to torture tests. Cool Siga will launch the printer on Kickstarter, so you can check the website, link in video description. Also keep in mind that this unit is prototyped, so there might be slight changes to the final product. I'm Dennis Wang, and on this part 1 video, it is about the printer. For print result and other stuff I miss, it will be on part 2. By the way, this is how to unbox brick printer alone without breaking your back. I love this accessories box, all tucked in very neat inside. While flipping around the manual guide, this thing caught my attention. Water cooling system and master control box. I will look out for them when checking the printer. This prototype here has metal door, but Kulsiga informed me the final product will have ABS plastic door, which is a good idea to shed some weight due to this already heavy printer. It has a very well designed adjustable fit, which is a must I think for a printer this big. And the most interesting stuff is this printer has such a positive attitude, life will be much better. So whenever you have a failed print, look at this writing will encourage you to try again. This kinda surprised me. It has the smallest rail size I ever encounter on 3D printer. So I informed Cool Siga team they might wanna consider using 20mm rail, which give a very good result for single rail printer that I reviewed before. But even more surprising, my dial indicator test has the most impressive result from all the printer I tested, so I might be wrong. And it has four guide blocks, two on each side. There are four bolts here at the build arm for leveling, and the bolt can twist freely if no build plate attached. This is not good, but the solution is simple. I use lock nut, the size is M5. You can remove the build plate handle for easy access when tightening these nuts. Then build plate etching to help with addition, and the very low angle surface here can still let resin drain and not pulling on the plate. Wanna see something fun? Check this out. We gonna race. The resin tank comes with ACF. I only wish it has proper handle. But I like the volume indicator here. No more guessing how much resin left in the tank. When I look at the screen, these four bolts caught my attention. Could this be what I think it is? A system to re easily replace the screen? Since I cannot hold back my curiosity, I chose to scratch my itch. And I am right, this entire black frame is housing for the <coughs> Frenos lens, screen, and protective glass. So this system makes replacing the screen somewhat easy, intuitive, and I think even beginner can do it easily. While I'm at it, let's peek inside. <laughs> Is that a radiator? There is indeed something looks like water cooling system inside. Okay, so Cool Siga team answer my question. The water cooling system is set up on the light source to cool it down. And it doesn't require maintenance and that is very good. And it has like total of 5 fans. Now let's have a look at the mother box. <coughs> Sorry, I mean control box. It is also intuitive and easy to remove. I believe here is where the main board located. So the screen and control box makes this printer upgrade possible in the future and it should be easy. 
I see some complaint for the USB port location in case of resin leak when I post about this printer. But it is slightly raised from the surrounding platform, so maybe it will be fine. Now, this is the most epic power button I ever see on printer. <laughs> it's like a button to launch your... Touchscreen quality is impressive. It is as responsive as your smartphone touchscreen. And the user interface is easy to understand and intuitive. The printer noise average at 62... 62 decibel, not the quietest, but not super loud. For the Z movement, it has ball screw and thick robust holder. But check this out. Default speed for manual movement is fast. No longer wait forever for your plate to reach home or the top. Light uniformity is quite good, average 13 to 16. But under the printer here is like disco hall. UV light emit from the side kinda concerning and my test show the UV light is not completely blocked here. When you want to start print, you can choose for the printer to retrieve data directly from the USB stick or copy the data first to printer internal memory. I'm guessing it uses SD card. Now I'm going to continue with my test prints and will share to you all in part 2 of the video. Please be patient because I really take my time calibrating and in-depth testing when it comes to printer review. Kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the second part for print result on Kulsiga Finder 1136. Or if you want to support my channel directly, you could check my pattern link in video description. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Thank you Matt Mrozek and Nathan Tappin for becoming my patron.